Welcome class, thanks for joining me. We're gonna continue our talk about similar figures. So here, I have an original triangle ABC, and I have its image, triangle A prime, B prime, C prime. We're gonna be talking about some characteristics you will notice in similar figures. The first one we're gonna talk about is corresponding angles. Corresponding angles are the angles with the same relative position. So, in our two triangles here, we have angle B, which corresponds to angle B prime. Okay. We also have corresponding sides. These are the sides that have the relative position the same. So, we have side AB, which corresponds to side A prime, B prime. Okay. In the same light, we could have side AC, which corresponds to side A prime, C prime, okay, and so on. These are important vocabulary terms that you're gonna need to know. Remember that you can stop, pause the video, write down everything you need to in your notes. Remember vocabulary always goes on the right side of your interactive notebook. Okay, now we're gonna go over some symbols. Symbols are like pictures that you're gonna see that represent different things. So when I talked about our different triangles, you may see it in writing as triangle ABC is similar, which is the little squiggle line, to triangle A prime, B prime, C prime. Okay? So not only have you gotten the triangle symbol, but also the similarity symbol. Okay. You may see that something is congruent. We have talked about that angles, you noticed in the activity that the angles, corresponding angles were congruent or had the same measure. So congruency is represented with an equal sign and a squiggle on the top. That means they are congruent or the same measure. Okay, we've already talked about this tick mark here, which we say prime, A prime, B prime, C prime. Those tell you that they correspond to the original. When you are talking about triangles, you need to be sure that the order that you put the vertices in is very important. So if we are talking about triangle ABC and we want to say it is similar to triangle, you need to make sure that the corresponding parts match up. So A corresponds to A prime, B corresponds to B prime, and C corresponds to C prime. Because in the drawing, the original and the image, you notice that A and A prime correspond to each other. Okay, so make sure that you have these symbols and these vocabulary terms and be ready for your quiz when you walk into class first thing. Okay. 